This section provides guidance on station management and administrative functions performed to support vehicle inspections and the NY VIP3 software. Section modules include loading inspection stickers, maintaining the drawdown account, waivers 10-day extension. All inspection stickers will be printed and tracked through the computerized vehicle inspection system in the NY VIP3 program. There are two different types of inspection sticker media used in the program that need to be loaded and tracked by the CVIS. An external sticker type for attaching to an outside surface of a vehicle, typical of motorcycle and heavy-duty trailer safety inspection stickers and an internal sticker type for applying to the inside of the windshield, used for the following types of inspections. Safety emissions. Safety. HD safety. Light trailer. HD safety diesel emissions. You only need to order and load the type of sticker media used for the types of inspections performed at your facility. Contact the OPUS Help Desk at 1-866-OBD-TEST, 1-866-623-8378. After initial setup, OPUS and the NY VIP3 system will be able to monitor your sticker usage and proactively ship sticker media packs before you run out. There is no charge for inspection sticker media. Stickers are paid for when applied to a vehicle during an inspection through a funded drawdown account. To load sticker numbers into the workstation, from the main menu, click on the Station Facility menu bar or press the number 3 key. The Station Facility menu requires that the person logging in has manager-level security access. Once successfully logged in, the Station Facility menu will open. Click on the Inventory Management bar or press the number 2 key. The Inventory Management menu will open. Click on the Add Remove Sticker Inventory bar or press the number 1 key. The NY VIP3 software will perform a data file refresh. The software will open the screen for adding and modifying sticker ranges. To load a pack of stickers, make sure the status function box indicates Load. Next, select the type of stickers to be loaded, in this case, Internal. Scan the barcode on the sticker pack or manually type in the range. Verify the sticker type. Sticker date and sticker range are correct. Then click on the Commit button. A dialog box will pop up indicating the range of stickers that will be loaded into the software and vid. Click on the Yes button to continue. The range of stickers will load into inventory and the next sticker number will be indicated in the middle of the screen. If you are only loading one type of sticker, click on the close button to return to the previous menu. To continue loading external stickers, highlight external in the sticker type pull-down menu. Scan the barcode on the external sticker pack or manually type in the range. Verify the sticker type, sticker date, and sticker range are correct. Then click on the Commit button. A dialog box will pop up indicating the range of stickers that will be loaded into the software and vid. Click on the Yes button to continue. The range of stickers will load into inventory and the next sticker number will be indicated in the middle of the screen. Click on the Close button to return to the previous menu. In the Current Sticker Status Box section of the menu, verify that one or both types of stickers loaded are available for inspections. The first time the inspection sticker media is loaded into the sticker printer, the printer goes through an initialization process to recognize and index the sticker media correctly. This only needs to be done once and can be performed with either type of sticker stock. To begin, open the printer cover by pressing the latches on both sides of the front of the cover. 
Press in on the locking tabs to open the print and ribbon mechanism. Install the inspection sticker media from the rear of the printer. Feed the media with the black indexing stripe facing down. Slide the media through the guides and placing the stack inside the back of the printer. Close the print and ribbon mechanism. Press down until both locking tabs snap into the locked position. Close the printer cover. The sticker printer will automatically feed the sticker media out several stickers. Press and hold the red button on top of the printer to begin the indexing process. Several stickers will advance forward and then be pulled back into the printer as indexing and alignment occurs. Momentarily press the red button to complete the indexing of the sticker media. Tear off and retain the voided sticker media. The stickers need to be voided and you must retain the voided stickers for DMV verification. There is no charge for voided stickers. To void the stickers, from the main menu, click on the Station Facility menu bar or press the number 3 key. Once successfully logged in, the Station Facility menu will open. Click on the Inventory Management bar or press the number 2 key. The Inventory Management menu will open. Click on the Add Remove Sticker Inventory bar or press the number 1 key. The NYVIP3 software will perform a data file refresh. The software will open the screen for adding and modifying sticker ranges. Select the sticker type that needs to be voided. In this case, external. In the status selection window, select the void reason, damaged. Next, enter the sticker number for the first sticker to be voided in the range, followed by the last sticker number in the range. This can be accomplished accurately by scanning the sticker number barcode in the lower left of the first and last inspection certificate. Click on the Commit button to continue. A verification dialog box will pop up indicating the range of stickers that will be voided in the software and vid. Click on the Yes button to continue. Click on the Close button to return to the previous menu. The status icons in the current sticker area of the screen and the account status icon need to be green to proceed with inspections. If the account status icon is yellow or red, you need to add additional funding. Adding funding or seeing the actual current funding is a management level function. To access the Drawdown Account Transfer Request screen from the main menu, click on the Station Facility menu bar or press the number 3 key. The Station Facility menu requires that the person logging in has manager-level security access. Once successfully logged in, the Station Facility menu will open. Click on the Inventory Management bar or press the number 2 key. The Inventory Management menu will open. Click on Drawdown Account Transfer bar or press the number 4 key. The Drawdown Account Transfer form is displayed. The form displays the current funding amount available to pay for inspection stickers. When the funding level is too low, you will not be able to proceed with inspections. The form allows you to transfer funding from your ACH or Automated Clearinghouse account into your NYVIP3 CVIS local account. Funding can be performed as a one-time single transaction or set up to be performed on an automatic basis. To request a single event funding, enter the dollar amount you want to transfer into the Amount of Funds to Transfer data entry box by clicking on the window and entering the whole dollar amount from the keyboard. The drawdown account needs to be funded over $100 for the status icon to remain green and indicate sufficient. Click on the Continue button to proceed. To set up automatic funding for ACH transfers, click on the Automatic Transfer box. A check will appear. Next, select the amount of funds you want transferred monthly or on a minimum threshold basis. If you want the funding transferred monthly, click on Day of the Month 
and specify a day with the pull-down selection window. If you want funding transferred on a minimum threshold level basis, click Threshold and enter the triggering dollar amount to request a transfer. Whenever the account balance is down to $200, a request to transfer $500 is sent to the VID. Click Continue to set up your transfer request. A data file refresh occurs and your transfer request should be executed. The NYVIP3 software will process and issue OBD and diesel opacity emissions waivers. The software can also issue a 10-day OBD emissions waiver for readiness issues under certain conditions. The waiver process for OBD and diesel opacity failures are similar, only differing in the dollar amount of emissions-related repairs required to qualify for the waiver. We will demonstrate the waiver process on an OBD vehicle. This 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe failed emissions inspection due to the presence of a Diagnostic Trouble Code, or DTC. The vehicle has had emissions-related repairs performed in efforts to repair the vehicle. The scanned VIN returns a previous record back from the VID. When the plate and mileage information is updated, the NYVIP3 software selects an OBD emissions retest as the test type. A repair data dialog box opens, asking whether any emissions-related repairs were performed. Click on Yes if you want any repairs to be considered against the waiver dollar limit threshold. A vehicle repair data form opens to input information about the repair. Select the vehicle system and item worked on, in this case, replacement of a cracked exhaust manifold. A data entry window opens up for you to provide more information on the repair, including the facility that repaired the vehicle, repair order number, repair date, and repair cost. Enter the total repair cost, including parts and labor, rounded to the nearest dollar. The current dollar limit to be considered for a waiver is $450. Click Continue to proceed with the OBD reinspection. The reinspection process is the same as the initial OBD inspection process. If the vehicle fails the OBD retest and the waiver dollar limit has been exceeded, a pop up dialog will open. Click the Yes button to proceed with the waiver. Another dialog box opens, reminding you that both the inspector and the motorist must sign the waiver form. You are also informed that the waiver form and receipts must be kept by the inspection facility for two years. Click OK to proceed. A final review and verification screen of waiver regulations appears. Carefully read each item to understand what actions are necessary for compliance. If you need more information, Click on the Regulations button to view the waiver section of NY DMV Motor Vehicle Inspection Regulations. Otherwise, click the Yes button to continue with the waiver. The software will print a sticker for the waiver. The software then prints a waiver VIR. The first page of the VIR print is the VIR for the customer, which shows the vehicle failed the emissions section of the inspection. The report also states that a one-year-only waiver for the vehicle has been issued. Additional information on the reasons for failing the emissions test are detailed along with the repaired item and cost. The second page has more information about the waiver. There is a section of consumer information concerning the waiver. In the bottom box, you, as the inspector, must certify that the waiver has been properly issued and all receipts have been attached to this form. You certify by signing in the space provided. The customer acknowledges the issuance of the waiver by signing in the space provided. Retain this form and receipts for two years. The NYVIP3 software can issue a 10-day extension for OBD readiness problems. Under certain conditions, during an initial OBD emissions inspection, the vehicle will fail the emissions portion of the inspection. 
no sticker is issued. The NYVIP3 software pops up a dialog box asking for the expiration date of the previous inspection sticker. If the sticker has expired, a 10-day extension will be issued. So, for the NYVIP3 software to create a 10-day extension, the vehicle must fail only the emissions section of an initial inspection, and the emissions failure must be due to OBD readiness issues only, and the existing inspection sticker is expired.